everyone, my name is Tech Weasel, I'm a 12 year old kid, and I code Roblox games. Today I'm going to show you how to make beams, or you may not know what the term beams means, so in that case, basically a trail that is not an actual trail, but instead more of a pattern connecting two objects, no matter where they are. It's a fun thing, and... Um, it's very similar to the Trails video. If you've seen that video, or um, you will know a lot of this, if you have not seen that video, please watch it. It'll um, bring even more light to this subject using attachments and things like that. And the Particles video is also very similar. A lot of these videos aren't. The Trails video was very pop is, um, it's doing well, so that's why I'm making this video. Um, my latest video is not doing the best. I don't really blame that. I mean, it's a subject that not many of you are going to search, but we've got these little pellets raining from the sky. If that looks interesting, um, watch the How to Make Items Randomly Spawn video that I made recently after the suggestion by a commenter. Anyway, so here are trails, but the beam will not fade away. It'll just base it, and it will not be created when running. It'll just connect two objects. So, let's get straight to it. <laughs> yeah, let's get straight to it. First, go ahead and create two objects that we're going to connect. I'm going to make them spheres so we can actually roll them and kind of see how they stay connected. This um, beam, just so you know, is completely decorative. It will not actually pull them. It's no rope. It can look like one, but then you're actually going to have to add a script so that at a certain length they pull each other. So I don't know why, um, but I'm going to make them different colors. I'm going to add a cool material. Doesn't that look nice? Looks straight. Looks like it's straight from Portal 2 or something. Nice uh, spheres. Speaking of which, if you ever do want to make a portal. That's basically how to do it. Just force build a sphere and it looks really good. It's a simple way to do it. But of course there'll need to be scripts so you can see through it. Anyway, let's get to the subject at hand. Go into one of them, the one that you actually want to hold the beam as a parent and child. If you don't know what parents and childs are, you're on way to an advanced video and should go to my first ever video, How to Make Your First Roblox Game, where I will discuss that kind of thing. Or Actually, I'd say there's more of that in the power-ups video, which we will use some of the code from at the end, so you're pretty good going and watching that one. Anyway, go insert object, search up a beam, you'll have this little symbol, looks like a sunbeam. Anyway, you may have remembered how in the last video we put an attachment on the two spots, well not two videos ago, we put attachments on the spots we wanted the trail to come out of, like here and here, and then the trail came out from in between those two spots. But this time, the attachment actually needs to be in a pretty surprising place. The first attachment, add it, don't move it, keep it directly in the middle. Go into your other part and add an attachment. Keep it in the middle, don't move it. So the attachments actually have to be in different things. Anyway, purple, obviously, because, you know, red and blue, all that. Um, I'm going to make the theme purple. I'm going to keep all this the same. And I'm going to go grab attachment zero. Watch the trails video for more on this. And attachment one. And there we go. They are connected. Click the arrow, play here. I wouldn't suggest this with a transparent material. I just wanted to kind of show that you can, the beam is inside of them. Um, but yes, it's going to be kind of in the middle. It's not going to look perfect. But that's because it's a transparent material, and officially they are connecting to the middle. Now, we did not turn on face camera, so it's kind of like a 2D. And if you do look at a certain angle, it turns so thin that it disappears. Okay. So now, we push that orb, and watch what happens. You'll also notice it's kind of spinning like a helix or something. That's because, well, the orb is spinning, and remember, it's connected to the middle, 
and it does not face camera, so it's gonna do that. Eventually, you should see it go down once that thing goes over the edge, which you'll be able to tell by simply looking at the trail. There we go. So we can, and it disappeared because that one despawned. And if you do make it so these things respawn, sadly, the beam will not stay connected. It's kind of hard. Also, I've actually never done this before. I am loving how these like small force field spheres look. Like it's really cool. It really does look like just an outline. Anyway. So, that's our beam. Video's practically done there, except it's not, because I can show you a bunch more things, like transparency. We can make it get slowly more transparent. Which you'll actually notice makes it so it's transparent on this one, but not on that one. Because, believe it or not, it's actually starting on the one that the beam is not in. Reason? Because we set attachment zero to this one. If this was attachment 0 and this was attachment 1, it would be fading into that one. So I'm going to keep this kind of way it's fading. But I'm going to make it happen on both sides, like so. There we go, got it in the perfect middle. And now it doesn't look as bad going into them. Um, I like this a bit more. I mean, play here, but I think you've already kind of seen how it works. You can actually add a curve. Um, which will mean if we do this, and turn up that curve size, Bam! Okay, let me change that one to a zero. So, it's, um, gonna do that now. <laughs> uh, not exactly what I call pretty. Okay, so where does this actually come in handy in a game? I'm also gonna turn on face camera, actually, before I go to that subject. Now look, it's always facing the camera, making it look more 3D and better. Anyway, so where does this actually come in handy in a game? Well, ever seen a game where there's a arrow coming out of the player's head or something, leading them to where they should go for the tutorial? Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it so there's an arrow texture on this. Okay? So, to do that, you have to go into the properties, and change texture. Then you need to add an image from your computer. You might not have an arrow image. I personally do not right now, but I will show you what happens when you use some other images. Also note that these images, I suggest always making kind of theme around white and gray so you can color them. I have a white image I'm going to use, and that way this purple, it'll turn into a purple image and we'll be able to change it to any color. Here I go. So, a long time ago, I attempted to make a elemental, like, fighting game. Not like elemental fighting, literally, the game. No. Very different. It was supposed to be like... Anyway, it was gonna be a game. And, um, so I have this lightning texture from it, which is not meant to be stretched into a beam. You notice it's actually moving across. Um, it does do that. Um, it does not... Beams do not just stand still. You can... Turn that off, whatever you want to do. Zero speed, you'll see it's not moving anymore. You'll also notice that I can freeze it at any time by typing in. That zero, I can actually freeze it no matter where it is. And I can make it fast, so it looks really cool. I can get rid of that texture. I can even change how it works. It's currently at stretch. There's static, basically a bunch of small ones of the image. You'll notice the lightning image actually looks really cheesy. Um, yeah. Okay, now it's at wrap. Static. They're very similar. Um, I, yeah, they're only have mild differences. I always use stretch. It's 
easily the best in my opinion. But now they seem to be sending sending like energy from one to the other and man, if we did make this a portal, it would really work that way right now. Like it looks like a portal. Like you can even see which way it's gonna go and like where it's gonna bring you, all of that. <laughs> in fact, maybe at the end I'll show you it as a portal, because why not? Yeah, actually, let me do that. As you can see, it's very faint, but I kind of like that. It looks like it's sending a little bit of energy or matter or something. I don't know how teleporters work. Um, to the other one. Anyway, um, I'm not going to show you how to make a teleporter. That's a theme for another video. But I, this video is only about beams. Um, and maybe we'll make a part two about beams later. Not actually, like, tomorrow or whatever. Showing you how to make it so it directs the player to a certain place. But at the moment, I'll just show you a fun example that has not much to do with beams, but looks good and involves beams. So I'm going to make it so that these things can teleport you from one to the other. Okay, so, um, here we go. You'll notice I made them a bit bigger so the player can actually fit into them. I anchored them. I did not turn off can collide, so it will not look perfect, but honestly, I want the player to collide into them to teleport. So, here we go. Bam! Okay, so I spawned on top of it. They're, these aren't rustic. These are these are I, I, I don't think this is exactly what I'm going to show in the teleporter video, but this isn't really a teleporter video, so I just quickly put these together. They only work once, so, yeah, but I got teleported. Pretty good. Anyway, they look nice. This beam is helping as an effect. It's a side thing, these beams are, but they're really useful. They, you can walk right through them, all that. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's, um, a small one, but a fun one. And I hope that you have watched all these videos and really know how to use each effect now. Okay, I haven't made a video on smoke, or fire, or explosions, the more pre-made ones. Plus, explosions, in my opinion, aren't really an effect. They are actually can deal some damage and blow up the ground and stuff, so that's not necessarily one of these effects videos. But, um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you can use these to make some pretty cool builds. Anyway, bye! See you all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and you can comment and I will give you a video on what you comment most likely. There were times that there were certain things I wouldn't show on the channel or whatever, but, you know, most likely. Anyway, bye everyone!